Hello, I'm Jim Sims, and I'm the Research Camera Sales Manager for Hamamatsu Corporation. And today we're going to talk about the Hamamatsu WVU Gemini Optical Splitter. This is the Gemini here, and to start with following the light path, at this end is the part that will attach to the C-mount adapter on your microscope. Next comes the optical mask that is going to trim your image down to half of its width. This one here, the 6.4 millimeter mask, is made to accommodate the Flash 4.0 and LT size CMOS chips. If you happen to be using a 512 EMC CD, you're also provided with a 3.9 millimeter mask, which is appropriate for that type sensor. The light comes in and it hits this dichroic mirror block. I've got the Allen screws undone for the purpose of this video. This block comes out and you can see that it holds a standard 24 by 36 millimeter dichroic. Now, it's held in by a single spring clip held by this knurled knob. And because it's a spring clip, this can accommodate both one and two millimeter thickness dichroic mirrors. You can see here that there is a diagram showing that the dichroic surface faces out, so you can see the optical path. This fits back into the body of the Gemini. It's held in by magnets, pan aligned, and when you use it, you lock down the two Allen screws. Next is the emission filter block. This holds two standard 25 millimeter emission filters, and you can see that the arrows indicate the direction the light goes through them. Short and long wavelength is indicated on here. And this fits in here, is held down magnetically, and the arrow alignment shows you which way it goes in. Next, this correction lens block. Short wavelengths bounce, go through this hole, but the long wavelengths that go straight through encounter two lenses, and these two lenses allow you to adjust zoom and focus. This whole area between these two points is collimated space, but these zoom and focus knobs allow you to correct for any chromatic aberration you have in your objective. Now, there's this knob here in down mode. It's in bypass so that the light would go straight through as if there were nothing here. And when it's pulled out, and it only comes out about a quarter of an inch, this puts it into W view mode. So now you get your optical splitting. Next, this is your camera format knob, which is adjusted by this knurled Allen thumb screw. And this adjusts what size format chip you're going to use, whether it be the 512 EMC CD or the Flash 4.0 type CMOS chip. Now to backtrack an optical path a bit. Of particular note, we need to pay attention to these two holes. These are where the adjustment screws are for the steering mirror for when you are going to do your alignment. The short wavelengths are bouncing off of the steering mirror. This will adjust the up and down of one of the images, and this will adjust the left and right. And by using the small Allen tool that comes in the toolbox and the software that you've got, this is how you're going to bring the images into alignment. Our next video is going to be how the Gemini works and its strategic advantages. Thank you.